Yes, the title reads correctly, I sold Bitcoin, but before you make any conclusions, please watch this video till the end, understand the context, why I did it, how, in which volume, in which quantity, where, where what am I going to be using that money for, etc. So today a very important video because we, even though we pumped a little bit, uh, I think I still think we are quite in a danger zone. So let's just jump straight into this. If you're brand new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you feel like doing so, share this video. There's a share button down below here on YouTube. Let's just dive straight in. So we actually had a very nice pump yesterday from 61K all the way 12% up to basically 68K, which is really nice. And certainly it actually affects my overall trade on Ethereum, which is my $1 million trade right now, which actually is cracking a profit right now. And I still have so many orders left to be filled all the way down to 2,500. But again, actually, our trading challenge is being put back into profit, basically 100K in profit. And remember, I'm doing this challenge from 1 million to 10 million transparently in front of everyone. So I think that this deserves uh, subscribe and respect. I'm showing my UID, showing everything transparently, the deposit history, so I'm not cheating. I'm showing you every single trade, everything I'm doing. And I sold Bitcoin. So let me explain why exactly, let me give you the context and then we're going to come back to the trade itself, to all the trades and I'm going to explain ex exactly, oh Jesus Christ, exactly what is happening right now. So first of all, yeah, we're seeing a real nice pump in Bitcoin. However, if we look at the ETF um, and before I show you everything, remember about the bo bonuses on Bybit and also we actually did really well with our copy trading accounts despite this correction, we still are profitable, so we still made money, so we actually sustained it and even the high risk is still profitable, even though a lot of these copy trading accounts, they usually just blow up and have insane drawdowns or like completely liquidate people. So if you want to be copy trading us, uh, you need to be on Bybit and you need to use my link to buy the down description of this video yeah, so that you actually get up to $30,000 initial deposit bonuses. And only then when you've created an account using my link, you can go to copycrawlotrades.com and follow all these steps accurately. Um, and then you will be actually whitelisted for these accounts and you will be able to copy them. So now let's have a look at what happened because Bitcoin actually pumped 12% as we just seen. However, we've seen another day of outflows yesterday, which totaled $263 million worth of outflows in one single day, again. And again, it's because of grayscale. Certainly, the, the volume on um, the BlackRock ETF also came down a bit for now. So therefore, it is just, you know, spelling trouble for now because this support for the price is no longer there and we have an outflow. But again, it's all short term, in my opinion. It always goes up and down, just like we've seen right here. We've seen some corrections here. But despite this, the price still rallied. So why did the price rally? So the price rallied because of this, that the Fed meeting was actually surprisingly positive. I watched it. I didn't do a live stream. It was too late. I was too tired. But it was surprisingly positive. They held the rates at the same level. But finally, Powell indicated that three cuts coming sometime this year that they could be reevaluating and that the cuts could be coming very soon. So finally, there is the language of the pivot, what we've all been hoping for and waiting for. So uh, that's why this has affected the probabilities of the rate cuts in May to 8.4%. Previously, it was zero, but I don't think anything is going to happen in May. But possibly in June, the market currently is pricing in a probability of total probability of 75% of the first rate cut to come in June and then certainly in July and only 12% chance of July also still staying at the same level. So this is what actually gave us this boost plus what we are seeing right now an incredible amount of shorts and a huge it's like uh, at 75k, we have 5 billion, I don't know if this is accurate precisely, we couldn't put our finger on precise number, but it's in billions, 5 billions worth of Bitcoin shorts would be liquidated if the price were to regain 74, 75,000, as you can see right here. So this is huge. So for this reason, it is stop hunting. It is some hopium of the FOMC hopium, the macro hopium and stop hunting. That's why we have a lot of people shorting from here, actually. So that's why the higher we go, the more shorters we're going to be liquidating. So that is the primary reason for this driving force for this up move. Now, 
Before I explain why I sold Bitcoin and what I'm doing and what I also sold other coins, I'm going to show you exactly what is happening and why I'm doing it. And a full disclosure, yesterday I made a video where I disclosed that BlackRock actually listed a token and created their own token. And I actually have taken this information from even Mike Novogratz actually retweeted this information, who is a famous billionaire and a very good investor. And here, if you see in so many articles, even Bitcoin.com, they actually speak about the Ether scan and the creation of the token that is called Widdle um, and you know the singular address is holding 100 tokens blah 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 and according supposedly to BlackRock's prospectus the fund aggregates investments with a minimum entry of 100,000 regard for participants so if you click on this button it actually takes you to the ether scan but now suddenly it changed to Saratoga STG so we were trying to look at it and it's very suspicious that it changed to Saratoga STG. So I'd be very careful about this. I mean, it still is not a tradable token anyway, but the fact that they actually are listing something has, in my opinion, very, very bullish news for Ethereum. But this has just, you know, spooked me a bit and uh, maybe it is some kind of slightly fake news in terms of all the articles. It's not fake news about Ethereum and BlackRock and everything they're doing, but maybe the token itself yeah, maybe a bit, a bit, a bit weird. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to also point out, though, which still remains just as bullish for Ethereum, is the fact that BlackRock started, started the digital asset fund and supported it and actually seeded it with hundred million dollars of USDC. So it's crypto money on Ethereum. So they actually put hundred million into the Ethereum network. So despite that token being real or not real, it's still the shit is real anyway. But just wanted to fully disclose it. If something, you know, if I at some point give you an information that might not be hundred percent accurate for whatever reason, I always admit to it and I'll always just warn you about it and what is the case. So, uh, and also, uh, which is a bit troublesome. And right now there is a lot of FUD on Ethereum that, you know, SEC is waging a legal campaign to classify Ethereum as a security. And the SEC's probe, they're actually probing a lot of companies and the Ethereum Foundation itself. And it actually began back in September of 2022 when Ethereum uh, move to proof of stake. And right now there is a huge debate whether there is going to be an ETF or not. In my opinion, there should be. The question becomes, is there going to be an ETF in May? That is the current final deadline. This is very questionable. In my opinion, there is slightly less chance of it happening in comparison to Bitcoin spot ETF, just because of the proof of stake. And then you can argue whether it is passing or failing the how we test and why and who is benefiting and about the centralization. And let me know down in the comments, guys, by the way, if you want me to make a very in-depth, detailed video, what would happen if Ethereum would not get a sport um, Ethereum ETF now and whether it would actually prevent it from ever getting a spot Ethereum ETF if it were classified as security, which the answer to it, by the way, is no, they would still be able to do it in a, just in a different way. So therefore, the worst case scenario is just a delay, just like we've seen so many times, in, even with the Winklevoss brothers for Bitcoin spot ETF. But let me know if I should dive into this very deep, into our research, into what we are saying, into the how we test interpretation, etc. Let me know down in the comments. I will probably make a separate video. Overall, though, what I wanted to mention here is that there is a lot of FUD. And for now, everything we're seeing, it seems like it's nothing more than FUD. Yes, Gary Gensler could be going after everything like he's been going before, but he still approved spot Bitcoin ETF. And we still have Ethereum futures ETF, which was approved literally last year. It certainly doesn't guarantee that we get a spot one, but it was proof of stake already and they gave us the futures one. So I, it's very, it's very, com it's a very complicated topic. So if you want me again to do a separate video, I'll do it. Uh, but for now, it looks more like FUD for now. But again, there is many intricacies to this. But I just wanted to put your mind at ease that it's not as bad as it looks. It's been happening for some time now. And the chances are what they are, and they're not not zero at all. So now about some of the tokens that I sold. So for this, let's quickly go to um, our challenge account. Well, and let's go to spot. Actually, uh, let's try to find it. So first token we've sold is FTM. Uh, but again, we sold it just because our take profit was taken. Uh, let's have a look FTM spot. And we actually did exceptionally well. If you think about it, we got in at 40 cents right here at the letter B. And we got out first at 74 cents. And now we're taking our final take profit at $1.15. So we did 300% on zero leverage. Not too bad, huh? This is the first token we got out of. And the second one is Jupiter. 
let's have a look quickly at Jupiter because that's something that I also gave you guys. I mean, I showed you all these trades. It's all part of my trading challenge from 1 million to 10 million. Uh, we bought it at 49 cents and just now we exited at $1.52. So we did also 300% on it, but we still have two orders. We have $1.75 and $2 for the remainder of the position. So we sold this one. We sold FTM, uh, Phantom, and we also sold Bitcoin. So before you scream at me in the comments, I did not sell all my Bitcoin. I, I'm still holding my entire bag of Bitcoin. I'm not bearish on Bitcoin. The reason why, as you might remember, this again, this is the portfolio of the coins. We still, I'm always updating you, so subscribe, hit the notification bell about all the coins we're holding. We're still holding everything, as I just said before. Uh, and the reason why we sold to Bitcoin is very simple. So we looked because remember about my Ethereum trade, my legendary trade that I want to build right now. So far, it is in profit of 22K. It's a $1 million Ethereum trade with an average entry price of 3,500. But I quite honestly, for one, I still believe we could go lower, especially if, you know, we keep seeing these, um, uh, where is it? If we keep seeing this, this FUD, and also a bigger correction in Bitcoin, which is quite possible, depending off on what the inflows are going to continue being, because this has only that much power, only that much power. We could go to 75K and then dip back to 60K again. So therefore, it is very uncertain time right now. And if I want to keep building this long trade, and again, if I'm going to be adding 250 ETH more, so that's another $1 million to this trade, my liquidation price is going to be coming much higher. For now, the liquidation price is $1,400. But if I do get all of these orders taken, then the liquidation price will probably come up to like 2000 And this becomes very risky in case if there is going to be a wick down to 2 k and I'm going to lose a million dollars. No, thank you. Or like half a million dollars. So therefore, I just what I did was in case if we do actually dip lower, I chose of my entire portfolio to sell Bitcoin. I know it sounds a bit rough that dude, like, why would you sell the biggest thing? But the reason why we sold Bitcoin out of our entire holding is because it has the least potential. Yes, it's the strongest, biggest, the safest, but, and I'm not selling in any of my Bitcoin, my actual Bitcoin that I have in my everyday life, but uh, I sold it here because it has the least potential for this challenge from 1 million to 10 million. And I send this money directly to support the ETH trade, which is already 1 million. So if you think about it, two Bitcoin, 120,000, um, that's like not that very much in comparison to already a $1 million Ethereum trade, which I want to scale to 2 million, maybe even 3 million. So therefore, I send this money into uh, the margin so that our uh, liquidation so that I just into the derivatives account so that we, our liquidation price would be lower just in case if there is going to be any black swan event if we keep going down if BlackRock wants to manipulate it in terms of you know stopping the accumulation through the ETF so that we would actually be safe and this trade would be safe so therefore that's why I always tell you guys always watch this video till the end I always have an explanation for everything and my outlook stays the same but for now it looks quite good all I want to see is the closure above 69 with some volume that would confirm us to try and retest 75 and then I'll keep you guys updated from there but be safe be very strong and check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade Bitcoin proper risk and money management in case if you don't want to go to copy crawlotrades.com and just copy my trades automatically up to you remember about all the bonuses down in the description of this video as always peace and love times crawl stay smart stay very rich don't fall for fun and I'll see you in the next video bye bye